What's normally a modest and quiet suburb is now being patrolled by police on horseback. The community of Glen Ira College is still coming to terms with Monday's random attack on a student. Just, I think, like most parents overall, most schools everywhere, just concerned about the sort of thing that's going on. Is this quite concerning as a parent? Yeah, yeah, as a con it's, it's, it's a concerning thing. It ne I never heard like that. For other people who might be, you know, anxious about going out, I mean, it's in, in your thinking. It was in my thinking just coming out today. A 14-year-old boy was violently abducted while walking home from the Glen Huntley School on Monday afternoon. Police say he was forced into a car by a group of people and left with life-threatening injuries after falling from the vehicle near the intersection of Neerham and Grange Roads. An attack which police have described as sickening. The poor boy was just walking home with a friend and it would appear that it's just a random attack by a group of offenders that were targeting trying to obtain phones and laptops and wallets. Two teenage victims have since filed reports about being attacked or robbed. The offenders are believed to be of Caucasian appearance in their late teens and were driving a dark grey four-wheel drive at the time of the abduction. A similar vehicle was found fully engulfed in flames in Dandenong just after midnight on Monday night. The extent of the 14-year-old's injuries are still unknown as police wait for his condition to improve to speak with him. Police say they believe the same group physically attacked other students on Monday afternoon as well. They're still appealing for further information and say other silent victims may have not come forward yet. In the meantime, the authorities issued a warning to students today to comply with offenders if approached and report suspicious behaviour. Detectives are continuing to appeal for vision within the area as they try to piece together evidence. Courtney Withers, ABC News, Melbourne.